Mike from the Red Collectors. My uh, wife's cousin actually purchased this for like $9 uh, at, a, at a Goodwill. It came with uh, three controllers, already cleaned up one. Uh, three controllers in the system, and we tested the system, it works fine. And uh, the plus is that this has already been modded. But what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to show you guys how to clean an Xbox controllers uh, inside and out. How you go about doing it, you guys. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my uh, other how to clean a PlayStation One uh, and how to clean a Nintendo, it's basically along the same lines. You just give it a good, uh, you know, one two on the outside. Uh, the controllers basically want to get all the gunk, all the dust, all the sides where the sweat and dirt and all the nastiness collects. You want to basically clean that up, and uh, at the end, give it a nice polish with um, with uh, some. Uh, furniture polish and actually comes out really nice you guys can see there's a $40 sticker or tag there that, that was $40 but you see I see up here there's four X's so they dropped it down every week it wasn't selling so I'm gonna get started first is with the controller or controllers I find that they're a lot easier a lot faster I uh, you guys can see here stickers marker there's gunk there's all kinds of junk on it but um, yeah so I like to start with the controllers first they're a lot easier they're less time-consuming uh, give them a good once over and uh, you can basically polish them up I don't take them apart I find that uh, I don't like having to put the buttons back together so I just do a like an external clean and inside the ports and all that to give it a nice wipe down um, all this, all the gunk on on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's gunk inside there. I, I, I get that all out and I polish it up. I, I don't want to take this apart. I don't. There's no need to. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of dust inside, but as long as you the buttons are clicking and not sticking, you should be fine. You can just wipe it down with uh, rubbing alcohol and a toothbrush to get it in there, and you know basically scour the buttons. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to take this apart, and there's there's no point. So. Without further ado, first what I like to do is I like to give it a, um, a once over, uh, take off the stickers, take off any of the, the gunk. So I use uh, a little bit of Lysol wipes. Doesn't have to be the scented ones, I just have the scented ones. Uh, some Goo Gone and uh, give it a once over on the, on the controller and go along the cord and give that a nice clean it because you'd be surprised how much gunk and shit that comes off of this thing. But yeah, I go through it all uh, and then I crevices, I go through it with a toothbrush and uh, you know, like uh, razor blades, if I need to get into anything tighter, and uh, and that's it. So first, we'll start with a uh, wipe down. Just given uh, a you know a, a quick wipe down. You guys saw how dirty that was, but uh, once you get a good wipe down going, I now get use the goo gone and paper towel and I wipe it down some more. Now you can see that it's a, a vast improvement from the way it was to the way it is now. Uh, it's a lot shinier. That's what the Goo Gone does. It brings out some shine, um, but it's more of an oil-based kind of shine, so it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't last. It dries pretty fast. That's where the sh um, the furniture polish comes into uh, effect afterwards. It gives it a lasting shine, makes it a little, look a little bit better. But yeah, so as you can see, you can get rid of the stickers really fast. The Goo Gone. Everybody knows how to how to use Goo Gone. So that's that. I'm going to now go to town on the on the second part this is where it gets really gross um you you'd be surprised at all the shit that's in there uh so yeah i'm gonna go through that really fast try to do that as quickly as possible and then uh you know give it a once more wipe uh, another wipe down with maybe some goo gone let it dry a little bit longer and then give it a, uh, a shine with the uh, furniture polish so this is the equipment i'm going to be using to get out the gunk uh safety pin there you can get a smaller one or even a needle and thread or a needle. Uh, just a coarser brush, a toothbrush, which is a little bit finer, and a razor blade. Uh, the, all those basically get inside the crevices and help clean it up. Um, 
I'm going to try to do it quickly and show you guys what it's going to look like. I'm not going to get that all on camera because it is kind of disgusting, but you'll be surprised. Like I said, if you look into any of your controllers, I guarantee you're going to see a lot of junk unless you guys keep it in immaculate condition. But um, yeah, this is the, the best way to get inside there unless you're taking it apart. And like I said, I don't feel like basically playing with springs, playing with uh, uh, anything like that. With the uh, NES controller that I took apart, it was very easy. Uh, there was no springs. It was just rubber pads that basically push down and they pop back up. This has the same thing, but the triggers are more spring activated. And I'm not going to take the, um, take that apart just to mess up with the springs. So this is the f easiest way I find to clean a controller. As you can see now how much better this controller looks. The gunk now is gone and everything seems to be shiny. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then uh, shine it up with some pledge and uh, take it from there. So next I'm gonna start with the boss controller. I'm gonna set this one aside, let it dry for a bit and then do the boss controller. The same rules apply. Uh, if you guys wanna see that, I will continue that. But if not, you can fast forward. I will give you the time frame to go forward. So here's a side by side comparison. So obviously the S controller looked much like the boss controller. You can see it's, it's still dirty. I still haven't wiped it down and gave it a cleaning, but it will look much, much better once it's done. Um, yeah, the, the shine comes out really good on this one. And obviously this one, you could see the dust and garbage that's collected around. But once this is done, it'll look just as good as this. And uh, you'll be amazed by how easy, it's effortless, five, 10 minutes, gives it a wipe down a few, basically neglect your controllers for you know months or years, that's gonna happen. But if not, and you take care of it regularly, it's easy. So now you can see that they've got, they look a much better. There's no gunk on them. There's uh, this, they're just basically dull. I let this one dry overnight and you can see that the sheen is gone. It's very dull. Uh, right there, it looks like it's um, a mark, but it's not, it's really, it's just a scratch. I can't get that off. But um, yeah, so right now I'm gonna polish this one up, let this one dry for a little bit and then dry, uh, polish this one up next. Any furniture polish will work. So now it's been wiped down with the Lysol wipes. Next is uh, I'm going to let it air dry. And then I'm going to go to town on the, the markings here with the glue gone. And then after that, I'm going to go with the toothbrush and go through all the grooves uh, with the Xbox, the original Xbox. There's a lot of grooves and a lot of uh, side panels. You can, I can take it apart. It's not that hard. Under each footing, there is an Allen key. So I'll probably take that apart to get, and give it uh, a nice, uh, you know, blowing with uh with compressed air but uh yeah you take this apart with uh allen key and uh there's six of them all together this one like i said this one's already been modded so there's one there one over here underneath this uh right there and one under each leg they're very long screws and allen key just takes it apart so the reason why I'm going to do that is because I'm going to uh, get any dust that's on the inside. I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm sure there's quite a bit of it. So I'm going to take that apart, but I'm going to do that outside first. And then I'm worried about the inside afterwards. So a little bit of glue gone on our paper towel and away we go. So 
So that's as clean as we're going to get it without uh, actually using the toothbrush and getting really in there with uh, the grooves in here, like I said, all along the front here, along the sides, along the sides here, along the front, and along the back where the fan with is. A little bit of goo gone on the toothbrush. Not too much. I'm just going to go to the sides with this thing. So while this is drying, I'm going to take apart the top from the bottom and just basically take a, maybe a vacuum to it just to get any uh, dust that's inside the system. And uh, you could use the air, compressed air, but I don't have it. I don't like necessarily using the vacuum because there might be some static electricity and obviously static electricity and uh, electronics don't, uh, don't mix, but uh, compressed air would probably be your best bet. You can wash the shell. Obviously, you can't wash the innards, but you can wash the shell with so soapy water. It doesn't take long, and you just wash it, set it aside. But that's up to you. If you just want an aesthetic look, or if you want a thorough, thorough look, you can wash it. I've already basically cleaned up as much as I, I wanted to. Uh, like I said, there's six of them all together. pretty self-explanatory. You just want to keep all the pads and the screws together. It's common sense. So there's five and the last sixth one is right there. Sixth one and the and the first one are kind of hard to find. They're underneath the pan, the little stickers here. They do that so obviously nobody tampers it with it. You're looking for it, but you can find it very easy. There we go. And should just basically come right off. Let's try to do it this way. There we go. And away you go. So the shielding is pretty clean. You guys can see the inside there. It's fairly good. It's not dirty. The only times it ever gets dirty is around the fans and the intake. Most of the time you don't even need to take it apart. So that's why I was very hesitant about taking it apart. The insides our you know, hard drive and, and all that stuff there. But as you can see, or sorry, CD drive and hard drive right there. As you can see, it's very clean. There's no reason for me to actually really do anything. Um, I may just wipe the inside down here with the toothbrush. But other than that, there's, there's no point. So I'm just gonna put this back together. I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to take apart if you guys wanted to. Some Xboxes that you see at Goodwill and all that are a lot more dustier than this one was. So to wipe it down and to get inside is not hard. So I just wanted to show you how to do that. And I'm just gonna give this a quick wipe and that's basically it. Putting it back together, they're just, they're just gonna slide right in. Slides in, flip it back over. I'm just gonna put a rag under there so it doesn't scratch. That's it. The sole purpose of that was just to show you guys how to get into the system. And that's it. The system is generally clean. This is probably, you know, like a one out of 10 to, or one out of five to clean. It's very, very easy. These things are very resilient. You guys can find them just about everywhere. Um, garage sales, I've never really seen them at garage sales, but I see them always at Goodwills and, and, and uh, Value Villages. So I guess people would rather donate them than actually put them up for sale. I see a lot of the games, but the systems you don't see very much, which is weird. I, I don't know, in my opinion, mind you. But yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite systems. I... And that's it, guys. You guys can see how much better it looks now. The controllers, how much better they look. Well, mind you, the this is still a little bit dull, but you can see the comparison, how shiny this one is compared to, to this one. It's not as shiny. It's, it's a lot duller because I haven't wiped it down yet. I'm still waiting for it to dry, but that's it. It's very, very simple. 
you know, it took me about, you know, a half hour. Once you have uh, the knack for it and you know what to do, it's, it's very, very easy. Again, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. Thanks, guys.